Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. Today, in this video, we'll be taking a look at the brand new version of Winlater Mali, which was just released yesterday. And this is finally the gameplay test video of Winlater Mali, which you guys all were waiting for. So, right here, version 1.3 has to be one of the most useful updates of Winlater Mali. You guys will be able to see added Mesa version 22.1.7, version 2, D3D 4.11, and D3D 4.12. Also, a few game presets have been introduced, such as Need for Speed series. So, most wanted, Hot Pursuit, etc. games will start working now in Winlater Mali, also X-Blades, Mount and Blade series, Oblivion, Skyrim which is pretty good and all but one thing which I personally asked the developer to do was to add the benchmark version of Winlater Mali and the developer has finally added it so I am very excited to test it out. Now what it means is basically you will get the maximum amount of performance possible while running this emulator on your Mali GPU Android devices. Now you won't be able to use Winlater Mali unless and until you uninstall any other Antutu benchmark emulators which you might have added on your android device and if you guys didn't know already winlater mali is an open source windows emulator for android created specifically for low-end processors with mali gpu for example mediatek exynos or unisoc processors so you'll be able to see my device has about 5.4 gb of ram with that being said let's start testing out this emulator so we'll be setting it up for the first time and we'll be creating a new container i recommend you guys to do the same after this update once it is done setting up all its assets let's just go ahead and open set and check out the box 86 and box 64 version so one change was that the developer has removed unnecessary box 86 slash box 64 versions let's just go ahead and apply the performance preset and once that has been done let's tick mark let's start off by creating a brand new container and in terms of graphics driver you'll be able to see there is only one option available which is virtual which works universally by the way if you are using a snapdragon 7s gen 3 processor or something like that you need to use virtual graphics driver anyways let's just go ahead and apply the screen size as 800 by 600 audio driver will set it to pulse audio show fps will be enabled and yeah let's scroll down to video memory size and we'll set it to 4 gb dx wrapper is set to wind d3d by default as we are using an mali gpu we'll also tick mark all the processor affinities and wow 64 has also been enabled startup selection should be essential once that has been done we are now all set creating a brand new container inside winlater mali and i really want to thank the developer of this emulator for adding the benchmark versions of the app anyways let's just go ahead and run this emulator and see how well does it perform in terms of emulating games and the first startup may take some time so just be patient and there we go guys our emulator has successfully started i'll just go ahead and toggle full screen and you'll be able to see it is working properly so let me go to the start section so you guys will be able to see in terms of game preset lot of games are now present as i mentioned before few games have been added and this makes it pretty amazing now there are few games which we'll be testing out in today's video which are from gta series so we'll just go ahead and set up the gta preset and you will be able to see it has been successfully done so now we should probably be able to run gta games at least gta 3 y city and san andreas on our mali gpu android device we also have need for speed series preset anyways in terms of extras we have open al vc reddish etc so let me just go ahead and quickly set up all of these and i'll be back also make sure to go to system tools afterwards go to wine configuration and make sure that the windows version is set to windows 10 you'll be able to see by default it is set at windows 7 and i'll also talk about the games that you will be able to emulate inside the winlater mali version because in my last video i asked you guys to recommend me some games and i got so many comments from you guys telling me to test out games like god of war gta 4 gta 5 etc it's just not possible guys because this device only has 6 gb of ram unless and until i get an mediatek processor android device with at least 8 to 12 gb of ram those high-end games will not work but still for today's testing i have some AAA titles for example we have assassin's creed rogue which was peak game of its time we also have call of duty modern warfare 4 fallout 3 which the developer asked me to test out gta vice city as well as amazing spider-man 2 so we'll be testing out all of these games and you need to let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the performance but as we have applied the preset for gta games let's start off by testing out gta vice city first let's tap on input controls and make sure to use a rts preset all right guys there we go gta vice city has successfully started and another thing which i'd like to request the developer it would be really amazing if you can add custom on-screen touch controls layout like it is present inside the win later frog it would make much more sense than using the virtual gamepad or RTS controls but you guys will be able to see GTA Vice City has successfully started I'll just go ahead and skip the cutscene and we'll also disable V-Sync to see how much FPS can we get inside this old game 
it says unhandled exception so apparently the game has just four stop before i even check out the full potential of gta vice city but anyways gta vice city works it means that you can at least emulate some loan titles or old games inside the win later mali let's just go ahead and try out our next game which is going to be assassin's creed for that i'll go to game presets and try out the fallout 3 preset because there is no specific preset for assassin's creed games though i'll still be testing it out anyways we have assassin's creed 1 as well as assassin's creed rogue now guys i just started the normal assassin's creed 1 game but you will be able to see it is running in task manager but the game is not starting so we can cut out the normal assassin's creed from this because it doesn't work it should work on a mali gpu android device i have tested it out previously on i think mobox simulator but let's just go ahead and try out assassin's creed rogue and still guys this game is also not booting which is very unfortunate let's try to use our own virtual as well as wine d3d preset and see if it works then or not so i'll be using wine d3d 8.14 and no guys once again it's not starting so let's just go ahead and apply the fallout 3 preset once again and try out the fallout 3 game now unfortunately for some reason guys even after using the preset i tried opening fallout 3 but it just wouldn't open it would just say there is already an instance of fallout 3 running but the game isn't starting so so if we see in task manager you'll be able to see fallout 3 is actually working but it's just not being displayed inside the win later mali so i think there is an issue with the version of game that i'm trying all right guys the next game that we'll test out will be call of duty 4 modern warfare afterwards we'll test out amazing spider man 2 so let's just go ahead and apply the presets and there we go guys our game is starting successfully at the top left corner you'll also be able to see the amount of fps which we are getting is around 54 to 55 and for some reason the games appear to be working in a small aspect ratio i don't know why but there we go the game is about to start so we'll just go ahead and enable our input controls which are rts and skip this cut scene and there we go our game has successfully started the first thing which i'd like to sort out is the video mode now all of these games you might know are pretty old if you want to emulate games which are of 2004 to 2010 i guess then you should be able to do so inside the win later mali even if you have a mali gpu android device So let's start a new game and see how well does it run. And seeing at the top left corner, you will be able to see during the cutscenes we are getting very amazing FPS, no issues whatsoever, no lags, and it's part of the thing that it is a very old game. And unfortunately, if I had an 8 GB RAM or 12 GB RAM Android device, then I would also try out GTA 4 or other games. And for some reason, it just froze for a second. But there we go, as we'll be able to see once the game actually starts, the FPS is pretty terrible. So almost three FPS. and it has frozen once again you will be able to see my entire android device is lagging quite literally and there we go even my entire device just crashed i think it's just a bit too much for a 6 gb ram android device so be sure to hit that like button so i can afford an 8 gb ram android device with that being said let's try out our final game which is going to be amazing spider man 2 again a pretty flagship game for pcs of its own time but will it work on a mali gpu android device you'll be able to see it says your video card does not meet the minimum requirements to run this game so unfortunately guys there are a lot of games which do not work on win later mali and most likely it will improve by a lot in future so currently these are the only games that have been tested out to be working and have actual presets to get the best amount of performance and compatibility possible from these games and also if you want to test out your own games then you can do that too anyways that's going to be it for today's video please be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification i'll see you guys next time goodbye